Hey there YouTube, Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video I'm going to be going through some of the basics of YouTube ad targeting and really how you, the best way to get started if you've got a tight budget. But before we do, if you uh, enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you are also feeling inclined, you can hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a future episode from our Teach Traffic YouTube channel. Alrighty, so as promised, what we're going to be talking about in this video is the basics of YouTube ad targeting. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to uh, walk you through two of the strategies that I like to do in the beginning, especially if I've got a tight budget and uh, it's a really good starting point so that you uh, don't waste money on some on some bad targeting. OK, so success with YouTube ads hinges on what I believe as this following formula. You need the right offer put in front of the right person, be it your targeting, uh, with the right ad to compel them to click, and then an appropriate bid that you don't actually waste too much money and it becomes unprofitable. So you need all these elements in play in order to have success with YouTube ads. And in this video, obviously, we're going to be talking about uh, the different targeting options you can do. And in other videos on this channel and also in my training courses at teachtraffic.com, I go through into, you know, writing good offers and good ads and, and bids, etc. OK, so if we think about the basics of a sales funnel at the top of the funnel, you're trying to get people's attention uh, as they get their attention. A portion of those people will develop an interest. A portion of those people will build a desire for your product or service. And then at the bottom of the funnel, those are the people that are going to take action. Pretty self-explanatory stuff, right? And uh, our um, different YouTube ads and display campaigns can be used throughout the funnel. So you can use YouTube ads and Google display ads to attract attention, build interest, generate desire and get people to take action. And each of those different stages of the funnel would require different targeting and different ads and probably different offers as well. All righty. So at the bottom of the funnel where you want people to take action, that's often where we start and that's often uh, a retargeting or a remarketing campaign. So those are the people at the bottom of the funnel. They've come to your website before, they've left for whatever reason and you're trying to lure them back and they are your warmest possible audience that they are most likely to convert. Further up the funnel where people have desire, but they're not quite sure who they're going to buy from. This is where you would do keyword targeting and placement targeting. These are my two favorite methods of targeting on YouTube ads, actually. And later on in this video, I go through uh, those particular targeting options. Uh, but really, you're swiping in front of people who you already know have that desire and uh, yeah, you're just showing them an ad to um, entice them for your product or service. Uh, for the people who have somewhat of an interest, that might be an in-market audience, uh, some similar audiences and topic targeting. It's beyond the scope of this video, but just know that's sort of quite sort of far up the funnel. Oops. And then um, Affinity audiences I find are usually quite top of funnel stuff and sometimes and often I never even end up using those affinity audiences uh, ever really. There's just an abundance of traffic towards the bottom end of that funnel. All right, so one of my favorite targeting techniques is using placement targeting. So you might be wondering what is placement targeting? Essentially, it's finding a video which is on YouTube listed, uh, ranking organically, that's generating views and is in line with who your target audience is is okay so for me i teach uh, a bunch of traffic generating techniques one of those is on uh, google ads so i went to youtube i typed in learn google adwords and that first video popped up at the top of the organic results and uh, yeah i can uh, provided that particular channel allows youtube ads 
on their channel or allow them monetize their channel then by all means I can target that video URL and have my ad in front of just the viewers of that video. If I dive in real quick to an old campaign that I was running using this technique uh, you'll see a live account just how effective it is. So here we are in our placement campaign. Uh, unfortunately I've had to blur out uh, the particular placements uh, but you can see uh, it was it was really uh, converting very well at a conversion rate on average of over 7%. And obviously uh, for the particular placements that were not converting very well, we can easily pause them and no longer run them. Or if they are working well, we can just continue to run them uh, to perpetuity, essentially. So uh, it is a high converting uh, campaign. And so that's why I generally do recommend running it. So going back to this technique, this is the perfect starting point I find for YouTube ads because you're eliminating the variable in your head of am I getting in front of the right type of person and just cherry picking the videos that you think your target audience would be uh, watching. Okay. Second type uh, of audience I like to do is keyword targeting because if you think about it, YouTube is the world's second largest search engine. So there is intent there, okay, which is why we do keyword targeting. So if you just type into YouTube, learn how to, and the auto suggest will populate below. I mean, look at all these, uh, you know, high traffic keywords that you could target. So if you teach, uh, people online how to play guitar then you know somebody who types into YouTube learn how to play the guitar is exactly the type of audience that you would want to get in front of right so for me learn Google Ads is an obvious keyword for me to target and I get the auto suggest for other particular keywords as well okay so starting out as I said we always start with remarketing and then we go further up the funnel um, I teach this concept called the paid traffic puzzle about how um, all the different platforms are interconnected with each other and um, you know YouTube is an important component but starting out we always start with uh, remarketing audiences across multiple platforms and once we really start to build out what I call our paid traffic puzzle our paid traffic puzzle could look very much like this if this sounds all a bit fascinating and a bit confusing to you uh, you can easily visit teachtraffic.com slash puzzle and watch a free presentation that I gave in an event breaking down this whole paid traffic puzzle concept so if you're interested in learning how to nail your targeting across multiple platforms and how to use insights from one platform onto another platform then definitely check that out alrighty so there you have YouTube ad basics uh, targeting basics and uh, my two favorite targeting techniques for starting out uh, be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video and um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in next videos.